Deus. Oh my! Now, this is a surprise indeed. It isn't every day I find a human being like yourself in these parts, and it seems you have hurt your ankle rather badly. You can't continue to walk through these woods on your own. Please, let me take you to my home. It is not far from here. So tell me, what were you doing all alone in these woods? The only people who even venture into these mountains wish to visit the temples at its peak. That is where you were going? Hmm. But... How did you end up all the way here? The trail is on the other side of the mountain. I see. You saw what it looked like an injured fox in the distance, so you left the trail, but then you were chased by wolf until I found you. Hmm. <laughs> I will have to thank their pack for bringing them here. Hmm? Oh! No, I didn't say anything. I was just wondering how very lucky you were that you fell right at my feet like you did. Who knows what could have happened if you didn't. <laughs> oh, what am I doing alone in these woods? I actually lived here. I tend to a small shrine not far from here. It is where I am taking you so we can take a look at your ankle. Well, we made it just in time, but the sun is almost set. I guess you will have to stay until morning. The woods can be very dangerous at night. Oh, you do? That is wonderful. I knew you were the right one. Oh, I mean, I knew you like foxes since you tried to help one that was injured. I am sure it appreciated you trying to help it. Here, you can rest in this room. I know it isn't much as well as we hardly get any visitors. I will fetch you a blanket and a pillow once we have taken care of your ankle. I'm sorry. Did that hurt you? The swelling is really bad. It may be worse than a simple sprain from how pain it's causing you. It's best for you to stay here until your ankle is better. There is not a chance you could ever make it down the mountains in your condition like this. Oh, look at you. Already started to fall asleep. You use a lot of energy today. Please, rest well, and we will talk more in the morning. Oh, my darling, even while asleep, you look so beautiful. If only you knew that I was the fox that lent you to stray from the trial. From the moments you set foot in my mountains, I knew it has to be you. No other humans has a soul that shines so brightly that even a kitsune like myself couldn't help but take a notice. And now you are here in my shrine. How could I possibly let you leave? Maybe not right now, or never. But you will come to understand that I know what is best for you. I will wait until you wake up, my darling. <laughs> Good morning, my darling. I hope you slept well. Does your ankle feel any better? Oh, it still hurts to move even a little. I guess you shouldn't try walking at all then. Don't worry, I will take good care of you. Oh, you seem confused. Is something the matter? A dream? You had a dream that I was beside you as you slept? Oh, that is very fascinating. Was there anything else? My, my, my. So in your dreams, I was a kitsune wrapping my tail around you as you slept? 
<laughs> I suppose you really love foxes, then, don't you? Who knows? Maybe I am a kitsune. They don't exist. Oh my! But I am standing right in front of you. Don't you notice anything different with my eyes? It takes a lot of energy to keep my kitsune form hidden from human eyes. But then, there is no need for this, when it's just the two of us now. Are you afraid of me, my darling? Now I'm on top of you, like this. <laughs> oh please, don't be, as I only want you to get a good look what I truly am. See my ears? My real ears, that is, the same color as my beautiful hair, and rather fluffy to touch. Would you like to feel them? Ah, gently, my darling. Let me give you something in return. Mm. 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 <laughs> you see... I don't want to hunt you. I love you more than any other humans could ever love you. Besides, even with that nervous look on your face, you're still caressing my ears with a gentle touch. Leave? <laughs> oh, darling, do not even think of leaving this place. As a kitsune, I am bound to the shrine and to the mountains itself. Since we shared a kiss, your spirit is now bond with mine. You can never leave this mountain. <laughs> ah, you see the numbers of tail I have, my darling? I have five. We kitsune gain a tail for every hundred years we lived. Which makes, at least... 500 years old. For the longest time I waited. For the one who will be my darling forever. And that is you. <laughs> oh, don't struggle under me. You're going to damage your ankle more. Oh, you left me no choice, darling. Ah. <laughs> uh. The helpless of your face as you struggle is just adorable, my darling. <laughs> uh, just looking at you sends shiver down my tail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can give you anything you want. Look like anyone you want. You will never need or want for anything with me. Besides you, you don't see it now, but you will come to love me the way I loved you. Ah, oh, it seems my magic is taking effect on you, your eyes slowly growing heavy and the strength leaving your body as your mind starts to drift away. Sleep, my darling, we finally have all the time in the world together. Be a good little human, and maybe I will wrap you with my tail again. But only if you're good. 